you ask me the question now, I am, I'm so very in that, that high, elevated mood right now. But I feel good. I feel good. It's a, I believe it's a successful show. I had a lot of fun on stage. And, uh, you know, the crowd, was, it was a very good crowd. So I'm happy. And I'm sure the, there'll be more shows to come. And it'll get better and better. Yes, that's true. Uh, for the album, no, of course, but for this one, I was listening to electronic music. <clears throat> Radiohead, Bjork. And I, you know, I had to write this song for the campaign. It was really a tough challenge. I didn't know where to start. But I knew what the concept that I got from this whole campaign was the simple things in life that people want. So I started from there. And one day I was just having dinner. And after dinner, I was just like sitting back and like humming. You know, this just came. I thought, oh, this could be used for a, a melody, a built a melody on top of this liner. So I recorded it, and I slept on it. I worked on it for a couple of days. I only came up with a melody because I couldn't write. I can't play instruments. So, and then I knew for the verses I wanted to be explorative, and then the the choruses to be wow, revelatory. I had all these ideas and I wanted to be electronic, you know. Initially, I didn't want to use rock drums or anything like that, but it changed in the end. And I, I needed help, so I got my producer friend, Will, to help me out. And we brought the song to life. And this is, this is something I've never done before, or we have never done before. So it was fun, though. Tough, but fun. Tough, but fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good avenue for me to get creative. <laughs> This, well, this show, right, is actually a continuation of my previous tour, but I tweaked the song list. And to do that, to choose songs, I, I went on YouTube, listened to a lot of songs. I went on iTunes. Or I just talked to my music friends about it. And so I started to uh, listen to a lot of songs. And whatever song that speaks to me, or well, it's challenging and I'm brave enough to take it, uh, I just chose it. This, these are just songs that <clears throat> have touched me. And the singers, I really like... Um, I really respect those singers. That's why. 其实陈奕迅的好久不见是真的，的的故事是还蛮还蛮有趣的。我的朋友在 FB 上，他因为受伤，就是感情，他受伤，然后锻炼就没了，呃，那个爱情链没有了。然后他播《好久不见》，就是他那天的感受。我就哎，陈奕迅这首歌就点了听。然后就被他的 MV 跟歌词感染到。应该该进步，我被很多人捏，<笑>真的，有很大的挑战。其实下一张专辑都是全国语的唱片，对，所以大家可以期待一下。嗯、um, ，已经尾声了，所以差不多五月份就发行。这张专辑会有音乐成长性在，曲风会比较广一点。嗯、um, ，因为我希望今年会带给自己跟大家一些突破。这张专辑会有很爆发力的歌，也会。也有安静的歌，但是还是 Olivia， 对，就就先这么说吧。<音樂>